In response to uh, comments made on the comparison of the ECM and the uh, PSC motor uh, in power usage, uh, I'm putting a kilowatt on this thing, so it's going to give me a cumulative uh, power usage. Supposedly the kilowatt will give me true power. And I'm going to compare, this is the ECM motor, I'm going to compare this to just reading the meter, because I've got the meter down there, and I'll compare the meter reading there multiplied out times uh, the voltage, and we'll get a number, and we'll see how close the kilowatt comes to that. And instead of reading apparent power, we should be reading true power. Not sure just how valuable the kilowatt is that way. I do have another test I'm going to do a little uh, farther down the way that I'll get into when I decide to do it. But this one is going to compare the fan speed on high speed, and then I'm going to compare it on low speed just like I did before. And we'll see if there's any difference between what the kilowatt reads, which should be true power, and what the meter down below reads, which is apparent power. We'll see how much difference there is, and then I'll put the PSC motor in and do the same thing, and we'll get a comparison on uh, what we have and whether there's a lot of difference. Also during this one, I'm going to be installing a uh, manometer to test static pressure and we'll pair, compare static pressure with the ECM and then with the PSC. I'm going to get started on this. One thing I should say before I get started, I am not just checking the motor in this case. So the, the test I did the last time, I had isolated the fan motor. In this case, I'm running the power through the entire furnace because it's about the only way I can do it and use this kilowatt. There's not a lot of difference. Uh, it's mostly just the transformer power and whatever power it takes to run the board because there's nothing else on it running. Run this for an hour, see what it reads, how many kilowatts I have used, and then compare it to the apparent power. Okay, we got the fan running, and uh, I'm showing voltage there. I'm going to go down and I'm going to reset this uh, kilowatt. Okay, now it's going to time out, and you might notice down here we are showing about 7 amps on the motor, and I'll get you a manometer reading here in a sec. And our static pressure, now I'm only using just supplier static, I'm not doing a differential between return and supply but our static pressure is about 0.26 to 0.27 and that's with the ECM motor one hour is just up we're 560 watts showing 6.95 amps on the meter now we're gonna try it at low speed now we're on low fire zeroed out the uh, kilowatts we're running 1.14 on amp draw so we'll let this go for an hour or two note the static pressure <laughs> pretty low 0 0.03 okay it's been an hour a considerably lower number 0 0.08 or 80 watts double checking the amperage and we'll take a look at the voltage too okay 122.1 I'll do the calx on it and then we'll compare it to the PSC. Okay, here we are set up with the PSC motor. 120.6 volts. My amperage is 4.46. Static is 0.14. Not higher static. This is in low speed. I'm going to run this thing for an hour and we'll see the difference between what the kilowatt says and what the apparent power is. Okay, we've been an hour. We're 460 watts, 120.8. Now we're gonna set this up to the high speed. 
and we'll see what we get there. Okay, here we are set up with the PSC motor, high speed, 120 volts, 0.24 on the static, and our amp draw is 6.33. So we're gonna accumulate this over an hour and we will see what sort of uh, numbers we come up with. Okay, we've got our data on the uh, PSC motor. At high speed, we're at 630 watts. So I'm gonna do the numbers on this thing and we'll see what we got. Okay, I've got some more numbers put up there and this time I put static pressure on there. The static is a little bit different than it was before. It's a little bit higher. So some of the numbers have changed a little bit from the last time I did it. But using this, uh, the kilowatt, let's note here, the ECM high speed, 20.27 inches water column static, seven inch times, seven amps times 120 volts equals 840 watts of parent power. Kilowatt wattage was showing 560. Now the PSC, uh, at 0.25 inches static pressure, which is about the same, 6.33 times 120.2, or 760 watts apparent power, and kilowatt wattage was 630. Well, that was in high speed. I just went to low speed on this one, and the low speed is pretty much the same as it was before. There's some differences, but because of the low static, 0 0.03 on the ECM, the amperage is very low, 80, uh, 80 watts compared to 142 watts. The PSC low speed had 0.14 inches static pressure, so it's moving a lot more uh, uh, air and it was 538 apparent and 460 watts on the kilowatt. Now you can compare that, and I'm gonna re, uh, refer to my uh, last video on it. It is kind of reversed here. The PSC is a little bit higher wattage on the kilowatt compared to the uh, ECM. I'm looking at high pressure now, or high uh, speed now. But it really isn't a whole lot different. Uh, the wattage is fairly close to what it was before. Uh, I will probably go a little farther on this and check it with a uh, uh, electric meter just to be sure because I don't absolutely trust the kilowatt wattage. But this does show the ECM is a little bit more efficient, figuring 560 watts compared to 630 watts for the PSC. Not a big difference for the cost of those ECMs. Uh, where they shine is the low speed. So uh, that's what I've come up with so far on this. Uh, hope this uh, helps clear things up a bit.